Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo. And today we will be taking a look at and reviewing the WiMAX Nova Short Throw Laser Projector. It is 4K resolution supporting HDR10 display and also has Android TV built in, which is one of my favorite features because not only is it 4K, it also has really good sound without attaching any speakers through the digital audio output or with the Bluetooth option. But it also does have Android TV, so this way you don't have to have something connected like the Amazon Fire TV Cube or any other streaming stick or HDMI attachment. Now speaking of HDMIs, there are three HDMI ports in the back. You have one 3.5 millimeter composite video, two USB 2.0 ports, one in the back and one on the side. You also have one LAN port, one 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and also that optical audio cable port. So I have been using the WiMAX Nova 4K short throw projector for the last couple of weeks now, and versus its competition that I have, uh, either I still own or reviewed in the past, I'd have to state that this one is really nice when it comes down to the sound quality. I feel like the lip sync is a little bit better through Bluetooth than some of the other short throw 4K projectors I've used. Also, there's an additional HDMI port in the back. Most of these come with two HDMI ports. This one comes with three HDMI ports. It also comes with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which some of the other ones don't offer that. And also too, installed uh, already there is Android TV. So it has everything that you're looking for in terms of games and music, movies, it has HBO Max, Netflix, YouTube, YouTube TV, so many things that is already a part of Android TV, which makes it the nice ability to the point where on some of these other competitors, you would have to have something plugged into the back with HDMI. If it's gonna be Roku or uh, you know Amazon Fire Stick or the Amazon Fire TV Cube, you'd have to almost have something with more streaming services a part of it. But because this one has it built in, you don't have to necessarily have one of those plugged into the back to get a full awesome usage with this 4K projector. So going straight into the pros and the cons and also the rating for this projector right away in the front of this video here, I'd have to say that I'd give it a nine out of 10. There was another one that I was taking a look at that I still own that I would give an eight out of 10, just because this one has that installed Android TV, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, an additional HDMI port, and, and also the sound too. Now they both have the same resolutions. Everything's gonna look very clear, but I'd have to state that this one in terms of the vivid bright display was just one notch below the other 4k projector that I have but it's one of those things that you would never notice unless if you put the two side by side and so with that stated you will not be disappointed when it comes down to the Nova it's gonna still be a super bright even if you have some light source coming in at high noon watching football on a Sunday it's still gonna look really good no disappointments but there is other competitors that is a slight notch just a little bit brighter more vivid and sometimes people don't really want to have that um, but when it comes down to watching this at night in the evening no there's no disappointments the thing looks great it's bright you can even turn it down there's a lot of settings that you can change between vivid and bright and dark room things like that so if you need to bring it down you can uh, just to kind of give you a little bit better eye support now again also with that 9 out of 10 I'd have to state with the keystone options with the with the focus options there is more settings that you can go with because when it comes down to a short throw projector you're really talking about inches and centimeters on what it's doing with the size of the display and where your projector is located so mine is fixed on a wall I use a small little table I have to make sure it's at the correct you know small little locations to make it look good but if you need to make small adjustments there's multiple different options you're able to use when it comes down to the keystone and the focus which this thing really beats out a lot of the competitors out of the park so when you set it up and if you think your corners off by just a little bit you can actually bring it down and over so everything can fit and look flush so how about we take a look over at amazon.com. This is the link below the video inside the description if you guys are interested. So the price is $26.99 and I wouldn't be surprised if you take a look at this in the future where there's gonna be some discounts and some codes that's going on with this one, especially maybe even something for Black Friday. So take a look at this one uh, if you guys are looking for a 4K projector. Uh, this is one that I definitely highly suggest. When you scroll down and you take a look at everything, you can read everything about this item. And so this is a 4K Ultra HD with right 2100 ansi lumens which is equivalent or uh, similar to 5000 lumen light source so you get four times the resolution of full hd or 1080p because it is 4k it also has the industry leading 
patented ALPD 3.0 and TIDLP technology. So the maximum projector size that you can use this with this one is going to be 150 inches. The one that I'm using on my wall right now is at 100. So you can definitely take a look at some of the settings beginning at 80 inch, 100 inch, 120 and 150 to project from. Now this is that eight point keystone correction and that was what I was talking about just a little bit ago. So there is eight point and you can also do a four point if you want to have it uh, not be so uh you know have so many points of contact to adjust and change and then the powerful sound this one does sound really good you don't have to have bluetooth speakers or another speaker connected through the digital audio output there um, but it does have a powerful 30 watt dts hd speakers by dolby audio and i do have to state it does sound really good for the first two or three days i didn't use any speakers with it i wanted to play with it all native um everything the way that it is naturally and it sounds really Really good sometimes I have to turn it up sometimes I had to turn it down maybe it was too loud but it does have a really good rich sound to it um, but then I did attach my two Bluetooth speakers just because I like to have you know that surround sound and I want to be immersed with whatever I'm watching again you have it is a smart projector 5,000 apps built in because it does have Android TV built in so it's really nice uh, so with Android TV you can stream your favorite shows from Hulu HBO Max Showtime Disney Plus and many more so if you're familiar with Android TV, it's super easy to set up. All you have to do is just go to a simple website from your cell phone on the beginning you know, screens of the projector, and then you log in with your Gmail from your phone, and then everything just all syncs up and everything is there. It's actually pretty nice. And then it has the multi-device video capable. So wirelessly casting to Nova with Bluetooth connection, compatible projecting from iPhone, Android, iPad, laptop, tablets, and other streaming devices. They recommend pairing it with a Fire TV stick for the Netflix workaround, um, as Netflix may not be a part of Android TV. And then of course the multiple HDMI video slots, USB built-in casting for video mirroring, uh, connect a soundbar or system, stereo system flawlessly via HDMI or again through Bluetooth which is exactly how I have mine all set up. Now if you want to go through some of these images they have it kind of you know taking a look at the 150, the 120, the 80 inch, 4k ultra HD laser, stunning details, uh, the high contrast ratio of 3000 to 1, uh, and then the patented ALPD 3.0 and TI DLP technology, uh, which basically controls the laser light for color accuracy and optimal brightness. Uh, so as you scroll on down, uh, you can take a look at a few other things if you're looking for a projector screen. But what I will do is I'll place the projector screen that I have set up, as well as the Bluetooth speakers if they're still on Amazon as well. I'll place all of those below the video inside the description. So if you're looking for my exact projector screen, which I love because it's a very good, nice, vivid white color with the felted black frame around it. So it can uh, uh, absorb all of the light sources. So then this way it can look really good with a contrast. So I'll be placing those below the video inside the description as well. So here's a quick unboxing of the Nova 4K projector. So this one is just a small envelope on the very top with not only a small microfiber wipe that you're able to wipe off your projector, but along with the user manual. So underneath the lid, you will have your power cable, remote, as well as the projector itself. So there's the power cable, plug that into the back of the projector and into your wall. You also have your remote. It will cover everything from the projector as well as anything that you would do for voice activated for Android TV, and then the projector itself. So the form factor of this projector is a little bit smaller than some of its competitors, which is one of the things that's really nice. So the form factor is down and small a little bit. You also have a power button on the top along with two different sensors. So this way, if anybody comes close, if it's a head, if it's a hand, then this way it'll automatically pause and stop what you're watching. And then on the back of the unit, this is where all your ports are at. So there's your power port. You have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3 with ARC, one of your USB ports, the audio output, you have your audio input or the AV input, there's your audio optical and LAN. And then on the side of the unit will be one additional USB. Now taking a look at the form factor versus a nether 4K short throw projector, you can see on the left, it is much smaller form factor. It is, it is shorter, it is smaller in pretty much every dimension you can think of. Both of them do have sensors. So then this way, if anybody gets too close, it will power off and turn off. And so this is where you'd be able to tell uh, just how tall the other one is. So the Nova is you know, really good when it comes down to its, its form factor, its, its room it'll take up. As well, when you take a look, you can see 
that the uh, the competitor on the left does not have as many HDMI ports, and actually a few other ports are also not a part of it. So especially that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So you do see that there is only two HDMIs on that one. You got the LAN, you got the digital output, obviously. You have one of the USBs right there as well. Uh, but when it comes down to the Nova short throw, you have the additional HDMI along with that additional 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then there's another USB port on the side. Now going through the Keystone, this one right here is just the four point, makes it super simple and easy. You don't have to go into the eight point. You can actually switch if you want to, but you can tell there that I'm making sure that four movie is, is located on the top left, the bottom left, as well as the top right and bottom right. And you just wanna make sure that everything is lined up and straight. And then you just go through the main homepage, make sure it looks good as it does. And you can see there that we have the main page of Android TV. Then you can go into the settings over here, and if you go into projector, there's also focus. So the one below that was keystone. Here is focus. You simply press left or right to make sure you put everything into focus. Now here is the home main page. You also have a discover page. Now underneath discover, you can take a look at things underneath HBO Max. Uh, so you can take a look at action shows. You can see things that are trending on Google. You can take a look at comedies movies and rebellions. I mean, there's so many things that you can take a look at underneath Discover. And then if you're to move over into apps, this is where you'd be able to take a look at more applications. You got ESPN, you have TED, Red Bull TV, YouTube, uh, your, your Google Play movies, uh, YouTube music. And then if you go inside of the Google Play Store, uh, you'll, there's a bunch of featured things. So Tubi, YouTube TV, HBO Max, Disney Plus, NFL. Uh, there's a lot of games you can also play with the remote. There's a lot of stay fit and healthy things. So it's really what you would look at with regular Android TV. So a lot of really cool options built in. And then you can also go to the, the games option on the top right hand side. Take a look at a bunch of games if you would like to get those installed and play. Now taking a look at the quality, I'm just showing you the black felt that's around there. You can also take a look at the colors, the quality. And I'd have to state that when you're trying to record this with a camera, it always comes off better when you actually watch it in person. The human eyes is able to pick up so much more details and have it a constant brightness the whole time. So as it's flipping between different screens and commercials and watching uh, the game, things like that, you'll notice that it looks good here on this camera, but it looks so much more better uh, actually in person. And there is the setup. It's sitting on a small little table about nine inches from the wall, surrounded by two little small smart towers for my Bluetooth audio. Uh, and for me, it's a perfect setup. So here's the setup that I have of the projector. It's just sitting on a small little wooden table surrounded by two towering Bluetooth speakers with the Nintendo Switch plugged into the back. Now I took a look at the user manual and I went through the, the dimensions or the, the measurements from the wall and also the ground. So I know that from the back of the wall there to the projector is nine inches. And then when it comes down to the height of the table or wherever your projector is, it really kind of depends on where your projector screen is located. So mine is directly on the wall and in it, and everybody's setup could be different with how many inches from the ground to the bottom of the projector screen. But again, you can see how close it is. You can take a look at the slim uh, form factor of this projector. And it's a little bit more beautiful, I think, than some of its competition. So this is kind of what the screen looks like with a little bit of sunlight going at it right around 2 p.m. And it doesn't look that bad. And then going through the power off stages, when you hit the power button, you got power off, restart, Bluetooth speaker mode, and also screenshot. And you just want to simply tap on power off in order for it to power off. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys like this review or the close-up look at the WiMAX Nova 4K short throw projector. If you guys do like it, please give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.